In math and physics, there is this weird, almost folkloristic thing called the double pendulum. And it is so fascinating because it's a quite a simple apparatus. It's just basically two pendulums attached to each other. However, as soon as you release them, depending on their initial conditions, they show very different movements and very chaotic but beautiful movements at the same time. So this is a quite frequent request. How would you set up a double pendulum? And now that we have vellum and can simulate this pretty quick, let's just step through this. So I'll start by dropping down a geo, diving in there, and then I'll drop down a line, which will be my pendulum. Let's display the line's points. And for a double pendulum, we need three points. So basically we have those two line segments here and each of those is a single pendulum. Let's slant its direction a bit. So we have an initial condition where it can fall downwards here. And then also let's move this point here with the point number two. So our second pendulum will get another initial condition as well. Let's use a transform for that. Just move point two and let's maybe just dial in something like this. So let's highlight it and we can see nothing is happening there. That's because we didn't specify a type. Let's set this to point. And now we moved our point with the point number two accordingly. And for the beginning, let's get rid of that Z movement here. Just have them in a straight line. So this is gonna result in a 2D motion. Next, let's start setting up this whole thing in vellum using vellum constraints. And the only constraint we wanna have here is a length constraint, a distance constraint, which is a standard thing that's already set up in the vellum constraints. However, we want to pin our double pendulum on its first point, with the point number zero. So let's take care of that by first dropping down a vellum solver, attaching it directly to our vellum constraints here, and then moving this down a bit, and in between adding a point wrangle, and we'll wire our geometry through this here. Set the point wrangles group to only affect the point with the point number zero, this one here, and set this point's mass to 0, 0.0. Now back to the vellum constraint, except for the point 0.0, I want to have my other points to have a mass and a thickness as well. So now when we highlight the vellum solver and hit play, we can see this chaotic pendulum behavior. However, the pendulum dampens quite a bit, so the movement will kind of fade away really quickly. And to prevent that, I'll head into the vellum solver, into the forces tab, and dial back the wind drag to zero, and also the friction and the dynamic scale. Reset this. And now we can see this has way more amplitude. One more thing I like to set up is in the vellum solver, we don't need so many constraint iterations. Let's just set them to 10, but increase the sub steps to two instead. So now we're getting this really dynamic, interesting behavior. Let's trail the path of this point with the point number two here by blasting away anything else. So let's only blast points and delete everything but point number two, like this here, and then attach to this a trail. Set this to connect as polygons, disable close rows, increment the trail length to 240 and the cache size as well. Then wire this in here, highlight it, and let's disable the point displays here. And we can see this chaotic but beautiful line that's been trailed by our double pendulum here. Now, due to our simulation step width, you can see where the pendulum moves really quickly. We have those jagged edges here. And what we could do on the one hand in the Velm solver, we could dial back the time scale to say 0 0.5 to have this thing move a bit slower and then instead have it move more frames. But still there are some jagged edges or we could just cheat a bit and drop down a resample node here. Set its length to 0 0.02, let's try that, and treat the polygon as a subdivision curve. So now we are getting those smoothed out curves here. And yeah, 0 0.02 might be a bit too excessive, so let's set it to 0 0.05 like this. Now, nah, maybe 0 0.02 was good. <laughs> So yeah, that's the very simple and straightforward double pendulum setup. Very quick one, but I think it shows how you can use vellum to generate effects that might not necessarily have something to do with cloth or soft bodies. Also, if you want to learn more about vellum or other Houdini topics such as vex, volumes, or just simply adding Houdini to your arsenal, you might want to consider supporting us on Patreon, where we offer a wealth of in-depth courses and additional video tutorials covering everything Houdini. And to all of you who already support us on Patreon, thanks so much, and a very special thank you goes out to Kyoko Sakane, Important Logging Pirates, Joseph Howarden, Derek A. Johnson, Nick Nick, Chris Hebert, Rafik Anadol, Rob Bryant Jr., and Mohamed Awabri. Thanks so much, guys. So as always, see you next time, and it's cheers and goodbye.